Hello, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode number 61 in my How to Survive and Thrive series. And in today's episode, we are going to build a lovely cozy cabin right here in this beautiful spruce pine forest with the snow and the mountains and the wild animals. And we're going to make this as a nice getaway to get kind of remove ourselves from the hustle and bustle of everyday life of farming and slaughtering animals and brewing potions and enchanting and fighting monsters and it's something that I've always wanted to do in real life have a house in a place like Vermont USA which is a place that we visit and it's beautiful um, especially in the winter if you're into winter sports and that's why I chose this spruce pine forest now if I can't build a, f a house in real life because it's too expensive I can at least build one in Minecraft and live vicariously through my avatar <laughs> okay having said that let's get started on the project if you want to follow along, I have all the materials right here, ready to roll. I've got a chest of goodies over there, and you can download this map. There's a link down below. Feel free to download it, install it, and follow along, if you will, step by step. Um, otherwise, let's get started. The first thing I need to do is clear this spot. Now, I've chosen this particular spot because of this hole right here. I'm going to put some water, make a babbling brook. We're going to have the house right above it, and we'll have a glass floor. We'll be able to listen and see that. It's going to be very peaceful and serene. But uh, let's get started. Clear some land. The first thing you're going to do is make some space. So go ahead and chop down all of these trees. Lovely, lovely trees. It's so sad. But it is necessary. Not only do we need the space, but we will need this wood as well. We're going to build this out of spruce pine. Um, as you can see here, I've got a lot of birch as well. And if you are going to do this on your own, you'll have to make sure you get all these materials. A lot of spruce pine. Uh, um, I'm sorry. Um, sp yeah, spruce pine. And then the birch wood. Whew, which I call blonde wood, by the way. And a little bit of jungle wood, which I call cherry wood. Obviously, we're going to need a little glass for some windows. We'll need some doors. And fence, ladder, and bunches of other stuff. But... Once again, you can download and follow along to make things nice and simple. All right, what I'm going to do is clear all this, get rid of all the wood, and I'll have to wait for all the leaves to decay, and I'll clean up the, uh, the construction area, and then we'll get started on the build. So I'll meet you back here when all that's said and done. Don't go away. All right, so my hilltop is now appropriately deforested, and we're ready to get building. We're going to start right here. As I said, we want this hole here to be just under the living room. Now, this is kind of a, uh, it's an L-shaped design. And I've, I got this design from Sedentary Gecko. And I'm going to put a link down below. It's someone on the Minecraft forums um, quite a while ago. And I did a, I have built this one time before in another series. But I have made some of the, some tweaks on my own. So there's a little bit of personality on my part. But uh, I wanted to give him credit for the basic design. All right, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is take some of our spruce pine wood. We're going to make a beam and just go up um, one, two, and three. You're going to need four here, actually, because that's down in the hole. And we're going to go over now nine this way. So including that one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine right here in the first block of wood, uh, block of wood block of snow and what I love about this is the snow when it does snow it's going to be beautiful we'll be able to sit inside this house has a lot of windows it's going to look fabulous cannot wait uh, all right so that's nine that way now we're going to go ten this way one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and who do I have with me today yipper and scratchy along for the project here and all right so that's ten and now we're going to go five one two three four and five we're going to going to include the beams and that should be three in between which it is i'm good with math like that don't you know and then we're going to go over um okay now we're going to go over three this way uh one two three in the middle it's a total of oopsie this is why i need a nice handy axe available for this project when you're too quick like me and you start misclicking and things get stuck in the wrong direction and yeah see watch this too see how the orientation can change now with minecraft 1.3 thank you very much and we're gonna match that one up with this 
beam here, going across. It just go up three for now. These will go a little bit higher later, but that ought to do for the time being. And then we're going to match these two up. Right here. One, two, and three. Very good. Try not to fall into the hole. All right. So here's our L shape. Let me give you the basic outlook here and what's uh, where things are going to go. So we're going to have the, the front door, the side door is going to be here. We're going to have a deck that comes out a little bit. We're going to have a stair going up here. We're going to walk into the kitchen. This will be the living uh, dining room here. And then again, the living room is going to be over this with uh, glass floor. And we're going to pour some water down there to, to listen to the babbling brook and uh, we'll be able to see the water flowing. It'll give us a little peace and serenity. All right, let's start with the floor of the kitchen, which is going to be right here. And I have sandstone chosen for that. We're going to start uh, right here flush with that beam. And we're going to just come back this way. You should need, fifth, I think, 15 for this. Uh, we're going to go flush here. Okay, so there's our sandstone floor. So again, obviously this um, this design puts the house up on stilts, which is kind of cool. Now we might want to clear this out later and put something underneath, but I kind of like the, the, the multiple level effect here on the ground underneath to make it uneven. But uh, we'll see how it goes. We should have plenty of storage uh, topside. All right, now what we want to do is we're going to put in our uh, living room floor. We'll start with the flooring, obviously, and then we'll work our way up. Living room floor is going to be blonde wood, which you get from birch. So you're going to have to cut down lots of birch trees, sadly. Oh, you know what we forgot? We've got a beam right here. Okay, let's put a beam here and match this guy up. And I'm going to have to go a little higher on those other ones, but that's okay. Um, do not go flush on this side. We're going to put something else there, probably a stair to give it a little bit of uh, depth. And now on this side, we're going to use our jungle wood. So that, by the way, is a dining room. And just fill this in to about, just do the edging. And we're gonna leave a two by two square in the center, right over our hole. And just so we don't fall down there, let's put that part of the floor in right now, which we're gonna just use basic old glass blocks. Okay, now we need to, a way to get in and out. So let's do that now. Let's put in our blonde wood. I hope I have enough, wow. They're going fast, aren't they? So we're going to put that there. Now we're going to put a little deck out here so we can climb up and down. And we want to come out three. So the deck is going to be a three by two. Where's it? Three by th it's three by three, rather. My bad. I thought I was good with math. There are three kinds of people in this world. Those that can count and those that can't. <laughs> All right. Um, let's put the stair up. Wasn't that from like Club Penguin or something? My kids used to play that. And there was a little monkey show or something. I don't remember. It's weird. All right, put some stairs here. And then underneath we'll put that. Oopsie. Yeah, orientation. Here we go. Not used to that with 1.3. No, you don't belong there. I hope my axe makes it through this build. <laughs> Honestly, I make a lot of mistakes when I build stuff because I'm not really all that good at it. All right, that looks good enough. Now let's get up topside, take a peek. So let me take you through the floor plan. The general floor plan is you walk the deck, kitchen, dining room, and um, living room. We're gonna have a deck off the back here. And I need more cherry for that. No, I don't think so. I think we're good with the cherry. Maybe not. All right. Anyway, let's uh, let's get some walls up, shall we? We'll figure that out when we get there. I hope I have enough for the beams. Hmm. I have to chop down more trees. I may not. Let's go up. Uh, three. One, two, three. I don't think I am. One, two, three. Definitely not. Well, that's okay. I'll cut them down and I'll regrow them. That's how we roll. Right. We are environmentally responsible and conscious about such things. So let's just go grab some over here, and I will replant this tree later. Thought I had enough. I probably want a full stack, honestly. So I wasn't quite prepared. 
There's something new. <laughs> Hopefully I've got a sappy. Sappy fall. Fall sappy. Alright, I'll be back with another sappy later. Alright, that should be good enough. Because we want to go up a couple more here. These are only going to go up six anyway. But the ones for the bedroom. We're going to have a second floor on this. It's going to be a bedroom. And, um... Whoops. Oh. Okay. Let's try this then. And those beams are going to go a little higher. The bedroom's going to be above the living room. Uh, the dining room. Darn it. Okay. So now that we have that done, let's get some walls up on this side. And what we want to do is actually we can go around. Let's go around the bottom first and use up some of these stairs. Let me show you how we get. Uh, let's start here. Oh, no. 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 Uh <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not at all what I wanted. How do you put these things upside down? There we go. You gotta aim toward the top. Right. Okay. You know what, Paul? Stick to adventure and dungeons and killing things. That's what you're best at. Alright, now this is why we didn't want to go flush with the cherry. Because we want this little angle piece here, like so. I'm gonna have to hop for this. Ready? Are you ready for this? I can do it. Yeah, I did it. You bet it in me. Yeah, I might want to dig that out. We'll see. Might want to put some storage down here. And over here, we're going to leave leave this side alone. Because we're going to do something a little bit different there. And so one of these days, I will learn. Pay attention to my own teachings. Click on the top. Paul, click on the top. All right, Scratchy and Yipper looking on here and laughing. Laugh it up, little fuzzballs. Just have a little food. All right, now we get nutty with some glass, right? So now that we have that little bit of flooring all the way around, now we're going to put some glass in. Uh, what I like here is big windows in the dining room. Just use your glass panes. Uh-oh. Yeah, try not to do that because you ain't getting that one back. Not without silk touch. All right, so there we go. Big windows in the dining room. Nice and bright. And let's head on over here. And what we're going to do here is... Uh, what are we going to do here? I think we're, yeah, we are going to do these stairs here, actually. So go ahead and do that. And it's getting dark already. Can you believe it? How time flies when you're building a home. And having fun with aminals. Alright, let's just light this up a tad. Before it gets too dark in here. Okay, so now what we want to do is... Uh, we are going to go right up with the wall here. We're going to put our door here. We should probably get a door up here pretty quickly, actually. And we're going to put glass in this part of the kitchen. So we can see out all the lovely stuff out there. He wants to come and kill us in the middle of the night. We're going to put blonde wood up there. And let's snag a door just so we can be semi-protected. Now we can put it on the outside or the inside. Um, let's put it over here. I think that'll look nice. Perhaps, perhaps not. That I'll leave that up to you. That's a personal choice. And I will not get involved. <laughs> now over here we can do something interesting with the stairs. Now that we can put them upside down, let's do this. It gives it a little bit more room, especially since we're going to have a low ceiling here. I'm going to put half slabs across the top. And we're going to do the same here. But let's, um, here, let's fill this in with regular slabaruskis. And then, because we're going to put our furniture here. Our appliances are going to go here. Um... This build is a little bit bigger than sedentary sedentary geckos, so I've expanded out just a little bit so we can get a little more space here. We could put a block here. I forget how I did this, but I think I had some windows here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's it. I think that's the I think that's the one. Again, I haven't really built this all that much. Um, and we're gonna put a door over here eventually, so. All right, now we want stairs on this side. Again, gives a little bit more room. 
and then we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to need, I think, probably a lot more stairs, honestly. I can click. Look, Ma. I can do it. Now, over here, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to put this down like this. It looks like a little bit of a, like a couch, almost. And then we'll put the glass. I'm careful with the glass. I don't want to waste. Waste not, want not. Tower of power there in the in the urban area. This is my getaway, remember? So I'm trying to get away from all that. And let's put a floor here so we can get out onto our deck. So the deck is going to be here. Um. Okay. Wow. Hey, this is coming along. I'm going to need more stairs. Though. I'm going to need more blonde wood. Darn it. I have to go kill more white trees. More birch. I don't think there's any more birch here in this pine forest. I'm going to have to head back home. Okay, uh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close, particularly when we get to the roof, because I'm terrible with the roof, and that's a lot of trial and error. Um, all right, so now let's, now that we have that, let's get this deck out, because I need to see how this is going to look, because I forget. All right, let's put a torch here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. No, we're good. More steers. You know, yeah, that's fine. I guess that's kind of a waste. I could probably just use regular blocks there. Or not put anything there at all. But I'm going to use half slabs here to come out. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. No, no. It's like that. And then that. And there we have our deck. And fortunately, there's no bad guys around right now. My dog and cat keeping an eye out for me. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's not too shabby. Now let's go... Well, while we're here, why don't we just go ahead and put the fence post and we make a little overhang right here. Oh, I hear somebody. Somebody coming. Somebody nasty coming around the corner here. All right, now here's a twicky part. Now I can use... I can use half slabs here, or full slabs, or stairs. Um, but not like that. Not like that, sir. I'm running a little low on stairs. Hey, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? Did I get that stair back? I didn't even have my sword out. Uh, that's not a good idea. Okay. Let's go take care of the neighbor here. Sorry, just moving in. Don't mind me. It's my spot now. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put... Um, I hate to waste more of my stairs, but let's just do it. Put a little, this has a little overhang a bit, a bitty bit. Now, here's a problem. I'm going to have to get up here. Let's put the ladder. The ladder is... That's not ladder. Oh, that's fence. <laughs> my ancient enemy. Ladders and fences. Okay, we are going to put this rooftop here, but now the trick here is... We want the roof, or the ceiling anyway, to be placed from below so we can put stuff on it. Now that we can place stuff on our half slabs, you have to be careful how you place them down. Now I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is going to go like this. That's not going to work, is it? Let's just try it. No, you know why? Because the fence is not going to reach it, and it's going to look a little, it's going to look a little silly. So we're going to take that back. This is where the trial and error comes in with building. This is why I'm not so hot with this. But we're going to do this. This is a lot of trial and error. And it's very time consuming. Once it's done, it's fabulous. And I can't wait. But um, I have trouble kind of visualizing while I'm building. But I have built this once before. So we should be okay here. Trust me, I am a professional. Except that I forget what goes where half the time. Okay, that goes there. Right. There we go. Excellent. And, oh, we should probably finish the roof. This is a little overhang. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I agree. Scratchy. Scratchy knows. Scratchy wants extra fish tonight. That's why she's giving me the go-ahead on this one. All right, that... I'm not liking those side ones there, but this just gives a little support... Makes it look like uh, there's actually something holding this guy up instead of it just floating in the air. 
Um, not crazy about the way that looks. Snowball! So, yeah, I might, you know, move some of this around a little bit like so, but we'll see. Okay. Um, okay. I'm not going to get too picky right now. We'll deal with that later. Let's get the proper... Uh, let's get the house proper completed anyway. All right, now let's get inside and let's finish up this roof. And essentially, we're just going to do this whole thing right from below with half slabs all the way around the entire home. And I seriously doubt I'm going to have enough. It's going to be close. It will be close. But maybe we can do this. I'm going to put a skylight up on the second floor, which is going to look really cool. Um, in fact, why don't we go complete the second floor? So this is the first floor in general. It's a nice open floor plan, very spacious, lots of light here. So when the sun is up, it's going to be nice and bright. We're going to get our babbling brook beneath us. And then we're going to have a... We're going to have a deck out here as well. Now the door, where should we put the door? What do you think? How about the door? Um, I have a door. I guess it can go on either side. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm thinking, thinking here. Let's just do it like this then. And put a door here. Whether the door goes on the inside or the outside will be up to you. It might give it a little more space look a little more spacious if it's a place like that in my opinion but since when does anybody listen to me um that looks a little funky maybe i should move the door over here and have it come out there i believe so i'm gonna have to sacrifice my glass oh but it can't go out that way because of that right Right. We can put the door here and have the glass there. Okay, let's do this instead. Sorry. No door. No, no, no. Stop. We'll do this. Glass here. And then we'll build that up. And... I guess we'll just put regular blocks here. I guess it doesn't really make any difference. There we go. That's kind of cool. Sweet. But in that case, the door should go on the other side. Oh my gosh. Um, my jump didn't seem to work there. I don't know if you noticed, but just pretend you didn't. <laughs> okay, so door here. And that should give us a little extra. Yeah, I like that, actually. And I could probably do the same here, couldn't I? Put a stair there instead of a regular block. That looks pretty sweet. Okay, so now um, we can put deck, we can put uh, fencing out here so we don't fall off. I'll do that in a bit. But let's head up to the second floor and get that done. I'm not sure if we're going to get the whole roof on in this episode because it's actually getting kind of long already. I'm going to need more wood for the beams. So let's go chop down more pine. Grow more pine, too. I don't want to be like my kids, just leaving tops of trees all over the place and not regrowing. Although, they're learning. They're getting better, I have to say. Alright, let's put another one over here, too. Twelve? I think twelve's going to be plenty. I think twelve's good. Excuse. It says yipper. Not really sure what that means. I think it's like, just don't kick me in the head. All right, now we're going to go up uh, three. One, two, three. We'll have just enough, won't we? If my math is correct, even though there's three kinds of people in this world, those that can count and those that can't, I think I got this right. <laughs> Voila. All right, excellent. So this is where the bedroom be. And we can do some fancy stuff here with glass as well. And I'm not thinking. Now, we're going to have a little... This is something new in my build. Is going to have a, a walk-in closet here with two, two full-size chests. And we're going to have a walk-out... Uh, I call this a widow's walk. Um, a deck. We're going to have a deck out here with two doors 
that I will leave open a nice days. So let's do this. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah. Okay, that's good. And let's put a one -er here. No, not you. Tree. Sappy. Okay, that's kind of cool. And then over here, what we want to do is... We're going to need a trap door here. We're going to have to put the trap door on that. Yeah, this is going to be fine. This is going to be just awesome. In fact, let's put that there. We'll have double doors. And I'm going to have to go get another door. But I think you get the general idea. And now what we can do is put the stairs here. And I'm going to need more stairs. Oops. No, 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 no. No. I'm going to put a regular block there. We'll put the stairs over the glass. That looks nicer. Boom. Boom. Ba-boom. Okay. Pretty cool stuff. And now we need a walk-in closet. I'm not sure if I need a door there, really. But it might, set, might break up the room just a little bit, I think. So let's just do it. And then, um, oh, I think I'm going to need more wood, huh? So let's put the door here for the walk-in. We'll go get another door later. All right, so here's our walk-in closet. And again, the roof is really where um, I tend to fail. So let's just build this space out, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> um Okay, I want to have two chests here, one here, one here. It's going to be a little bit tight in this room, but the purpose will be served. And I think that ought to do. It doesn't need to be a very big spot, just two chests, just like that. And I guess I'll have a window. I'll put a window here, maybe. Oh, probably a window pane here. Maybe, maybe not. I guess we'll see. I shouldn't have done that, um, but I did in... And I don't regret it. All right. So now this doesn't have to be too big of a spot. And I'm thinking it might give it. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right. Well, let's just see how this. No, that's going to look silly. All right. You get, get out of there. Come back now. Okay. We're going to have to go. We'll just put regular blocks here like so. And then um, like that. Now, again, this is where it's going to get tricky on the roof because I'm not really sure exactly what I want to do with the rooftop. And I should probably do that. And I'm out of blonde wood. No. All right. Let's get some more. I think I had, what, 74? Did I have a 64 stack and another 10? Actually, I think I might even had like 20-ish. All right. Make sure you get more before you start this project. And In fact, why don't we do this? I'm going to go collect more wood. And um, we'll be back. Let me go grab all that. We'll come back and we'll probably finish up the roof in the next episode. So this is going to be a two-parter. But why don't we just take a little, a quick run around. Because I think the second part, what we'll do is we'll put the roof up on top. And then we'll, we'll decorate. We'll put the furniture and uh, appliances inside. And we'll get the water flowing underneath. And that'll look really cool. So we'll add the finishing touches and I think that'll give us a nice full episode so there it is this is the beginnings of cozy cabin out here in rural Minecraftia in the snow etc so it's gonna look nice and beautiful and uh, I'm just gonna hop inside right now and then make sure go over my materials and see what I need and then I'll make sure I have it all for next time so stay tuned Hope you enjoyed, and if you did, a like is always appreciated. And, oh, I'm going to need a new axe, too. All right, we'll see you all next time. Stay tuned for episode 62. We will complete Cozy Cabin, and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, take care. Bye-bye.